Welcome, and thank you for joining us for tonight's Our Daily Bread Evening Meditation. God has given you this moment to slow down and be still before him. Close your eyes and let your head gently sink into your pillow. He is here to receive you just as you are. As we begin our reflective time tonight, try to get as comfortable as possible. Take some deep, calming breaths and let go of today as you come to know the presence and the peace of your Heavenly Father. Close the door on the events of today as you prepare to listen to a short reading from Isaiah 53. These beautiful truths are central to the gospel. Let us come before the Lord and ask for a heart that listens and receives his word. Heavenly Father, your word is truth. It is powerful. It is transformative. Open the eyes of my heart, I pray, so that I can receive what you want to say to me tonight. Speak deep into my heart as I focus on your truth. May your word come alive to me, I pray. Isaiah chapter 53 verse 5 says, He was pierced for our transgressions, he was crushed for our iniquities, the punishment that brought us peace was on him, and by his wounds we are healed. Tonight, let's consider the words Isaiah uses to describe how and why Jesus suffered for us. He says, Jesus was pierced for our transgressions. That's another word for sin. The way we deliberately choose our own self-interest over doing what is right. Isaiah says that Jesus was crushed. Why? For our iniquities. That means our twisted moral choices when we tricked ourselves into believing sin was okay. Then Jesus was punished. Why? Because he took on our sin. He was punished so that we can have peace with God. And finally, Jesus was wounded so that we might be healed. 
Healed from what? From sin. From disobedient living. From poor moral choices. And ultimately, from death. He died so that we might truly live. Jesus was treated as though he had committed every one of your sins. His death paid the full penalty for everything you've ever done wrong. And his resurrection proves that the price was fully paid. Have you received this gift from him yet? As we turn to prayer, consciously relax every part of your body, starting at your feet and working your way up. When you get to your eyes, imagine you can see inside your mind. Switch off any distracting thoughts and close the door on tomorrow's to-do list. Come now into the sanctuary of your heart where the Lord is waiting to hear your prayers. Breathe deeply with long, slow exhales. Breathe in. And out. And in. pray. Lord Jesus, I have done so many things that I'm ashamed of. I can't imagine the pain of bearing my sin, my guilt and my punishment upon the cross. Thank you that you carried these burdens for me. I put my trust in you tonight. I receive the forgiveness and freedom that you offer. And I trust you for my salvation. Dear Jesus, Please will you fill me with your spirit. May you change my life from the inside out. One Peter chapter one verse eighteen to nineteen says. It was not with perishable things such as silver or gold that you were redeemed from the empty way of life handed down to you from your ancestors, but with the precious blood of Christ, a lamb without blemish or defect. Let's close with a final prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you again 
that I do not need to bear the weight or punishment of my own sins. Thank you that you have provided a way that I might be saved. I offer my whole life to you and ask that you make me something special for your glory. Amen.